All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is YouTube. This is Pastor Dial. Well, I've got a question uh, that comes to me, and, and the, uh, the question has to do with um, building muscle or training muscles and what exercises should I do training muscles. Because, you know, what some people done, they, they saw me, um, you know, showing a few compound movements. I call them compound movements, which are not isolated movements, um, and it, what it does is just a show of strength. And a show of strength actually has to do with not just one muscle group. It has to do with a collective group of muscles. For instance, you know, when you're doing a bench press, um, that is a collective group of muscles, such as your chest, uh, your front delts, and your um, triceps. And so uh, the question comes because they, they want to know, uh, Pastor, what, what do I do in order to improve my chest? Well, believe it or not, um, contrary to popular opinion, um, you might not like what I have to say, but I'm going to tell you the truth. Uh, bench pressing is really truly not the exercise that you actually want to do if you want to build muscle in your chest. Um, actually, what you want to do is you want to start off with some type of um, isolated exercises, isolated exercises. And the reason why you want to start with them because you want to try to go ahead and work the muscle. You want to fatigue and you want to be able to feel because when you're really truly bench pressing and you're like this, you know, you're, you're, um, you actually are limiting your range of motion when you're bench pressing. All right, follow me. When you're doing this, this is a strength exercise. You're going to have to get into exercise that's going to actually isolate the muscles. So you're seeing me right now. And, and the idea is, for instance, it, you have to do, you have to deal with position. You have to deal with mind muscle connection. Um, you have to deal with angles uh, and everything because you have an upper and lower. Some people say it as a third part, but you have an upper and lower chest. And so you have to adjust the bench certain ways and stuff. And, and you really, truly are going to have to, uh, more than anything, I can't stress this enough, is, is whatever exercise you're doing, I don't care what body part it is, you're going to have to educate yourself. If you're going to listen to me or listen to somebody else who knows what they're doing because there's a thousand fitness experts all on YouTube, at least self-appointed experts. And, of course, the majority of them has to do with weight loss and other things and all kind of other junk. And every one of them claim to be experts because they got some type of certifications or, or whatever it is. And, of course, all of them um, tell you the same thing, eat less and exercise more. Uh, but it's all about what you can eat because if you eat the right things, you can eat pretty much as much as food as you want. But you have to eat the right kinds of foods. So, anyway, without digressing and stuff, uh, let me give you an example. For instance, if you're going to incline press, all right? What the ideal is, is your thumbs have to be in a certain position. Like, mainly you want them facing towards each other. And then, when you're doing an incline, incline or or just a regular old bench, dumbbell bench presses, you, you get to come in like this. See how the chest is starting to flex in? Whereas in a bench press, this is all that you're doing. Where in a dumbbell press, look, you're, you're able to come in and you're able to bring the muscle up. You see? You see it? You're able to come in, be it at this angle right here. You don't want to go too high because you don't want to injure your delt. Take it, take it from a wise man, all right? Uh, your deltoid. So if, if, you, if you're if you squeezing, pop out. You follow me? And you're actually having a mind-muscle connection. Your thumbs are together. You are actually exhausting that muscle. And it's not going to take as much weight as you think that it would. Don't go in there. Try to lift the gym. The idea is, is you want to work the muscle. Um, I was showing some brothers the other day, and they were in there just getting after, you know, you know what I mean, rah, 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 just getting after and stuff, and and so I, I made them, well, I showed them, I suggested to them um, a couple of changes, and lo and behold, they couldn't do all the weight that they thought that they could do when they did the exercise right. As a matter of fact, they could only do half the weight that they thought that they was doing they were doing the whole stack and when i showed them how to do the exercise right they were only doing half the stack so in other words if you're going to go in to a gym if you want to lift weights and you want to do it because um, you want to be in shape you want to take care of yourself you want to strengthen your bones uh, you want to strengthen your muscles and stuff you want to leave your ego aside you want to leave it outdoors um matter of fact i haven't done any benching since the last video you saw um, well, I did 375. You know what I mean? I haven't done any, any then, since then. And the reason being is because my shoulder's starting to bother me some, and so I back off. I mean, I'm just way off, and I just go ahead and stick with um, 
the isolated exercises that's actually going to fatigue the muscles. Um, you want to be able to uh, uh, try to target, you know, try to target uh, every group. And I can't stress enough mind muscle connection, mind muscle connection, okay? So remember, all right, if you're like this and you're, you're doing it, you're not getting as much. Watch this, watch this. Let's say you're doing a dumbbell press, all right? And, and, and here you are, you have your thumbs like this, like this. If you was laying down on a bench. And look, you're not getting as much, look, look, at all. But watch what happens. Watch what happens when I take these thumbs and go from here. Watch my chest. You see that? You see that? See that? So it's all about positioning. And that's how you're able to fatigue the muscle, uh, tear it down, eat a lot, eat a good protein, good meal, sleep well, build it back up. It makes no difference what muscle group you're using. Mind muscle connection, all right? Um, hope I helped you, all right? Y'all have a wonderful day.